Resiliency to me, uh, in very simplistic terms, just means the ability to bounce back. Now, uh, if you take, if something takes a blow and it bounces back pretty quick, that's resilient. And that could be most anything. It could be a ball, a boxer, uh, a tree, or an electric utility system. But the stronger the blow that it can withstand and the quicker that it can recover from it without outside assistance or with a minimum of outside assistance, the more resilient it is. Reliability is one of the things we do. And reliability is what we address a day to day. Uh, you know, we, your lights don't flicker very often, and that's a good thing. From the resiliency side is when we do have issues on the power system, resiliency is how fast we recover. It's a given that you're going to lose power. But how well is your system prepared to be restored? And I'm finding different definitions around the industry, but I think that's where everything is headed, with the idea that in the future we'll have a metric to measure how a utility performs in a major storm. Not that the power doesn't go out, but how quickly do they get it back on? People <clears throat> are at their house and they hit that light switch again, they want the light to come on. And if we turn everything off every time we work on it, that's not going to happen. So uh, we've, we've, we've developed effective work practices to do work on energized parts that are energized from 110 volts all the way up to 750,000 volts. How realistic is it yeah. that we have a very automated system if all the poles are broken? And then it's about how fast can we recover? Do we have a good plan in place to be resilient enough to restore? Resiliency is end to end from planning to engineering and design to operation, maintenance, and, if necessary, restoration of the system when things uh, are out of service.